Hey guys, welcome back to the Tinker Cave. This is my contest entry for the prop making contest of Kelonius, 3D Workbench and Uncle Jesse. As you can see I have chosen the lightning swords which were made by 3D Workbench and I will show you how I finished and made them. So first of all I've printed all the parts in PLA. The PLA I've chosen was Prusa PLA and the Polymaker PLA. And all of the upper sword parts I've printed on the Hypercube and the grip and the inner ribs I have printed on the Prusa for both swords. Of course, first of all I had to remove some supports and remove some of the rafts I had on the prints, especially the grip of one of the swords in this area. After removing the support I did a first sanding on the plastic parts themselves. After the first sanding and cleaning up of all the edges of course I had to glue everything together. For this I used a plastic glue, a rather cheap one, and after putting all the parts of the sword together I had to put putty over the seam lines where the individual parts have met on the sword and on the handle of course. After putting putty over the edges of the sword I have sanded everything down with a machine and repeat the process until all of the seam lines were covered and you could not really see uh, where the parts were glued together. When I was happy with the result, I've put uh, spray putty over the parts and I did not use any epoxy or XTC 3D for the blade or for the handle. I didn't have one, I was in a kind of a hurry and I had a fear that if I would apply XTC 3D or epoxy I would lose all of the sharp corners and sharp details which are on the blade. So I put in total four layers of spray putty uh, over the part and in between every layer I sanded the part in the beginning with 80 to 100 grit sandpaper and in the end up to 800 uh, grit sandpaper to get a clean surface finish. After I was done and happy with the result of the blade and of course of the grip, especially the grip as mentioned before was very very hard to get very clean and to remove all the edges and support lines and defects which were on the handle. But in the end I was happy with the result and I oversprayed everything with one round of primer and after that I applied two coats of actual color for the blade. The problem was the color on the cap is actually brighter than the color on the part came out a little bit. So the blade is a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. I have seen different pictures on the internet of these swords and some of them were in kind of pristine condition. They were very clean. Um, this one was gold, bronze or reddish and this one was a light blue. But I actually found a picture of a Marvel collectible statue of Thor with his swords and I will show it right now. And those swords were kind of really really hard weathered and really really dirty. So I of course went with some weathering and for this I used some black acrylic color which I thinned with water and I used another two petrol colors for the sword to give it more depth. To give it some shiny spots and some matte spots to make it look yeah, kind of worn and really old. I used two colors, one is antique blue and one is petrol. I mixed those acrylic colors also with water, a little bit thicker than the black acrylic 
and this gave the sword a really nice look and as said it's a bit darker as on the reference pictures but still I kind of love the look of the color, the shininess, the different colors. For the handle I used some gold and bronze spray paint and then also worked over with some black acrylic on the handle and also on the upper handle part, I don't know how it's called actually. And I used some gold bronze acrylic paint to give the bronze parts yeah, some worn off metallic look. And also used some gold tempera metallic acrylic for the handle to just have more depth in the part to have not only one color, different colors and the black in between to make it look more worn. To seal everything up I used one coat of glossy varnish so the paint job will not be harmed. The last thing was gluing together the sword and the handle part because my actual cabin for spray painting was very small and I think this was much easier to, to spray paint and to finish in two pieces. I wish everybody who enters the contest of Kelonius, 3D Workbench and Uncle Jesse good luck. May the best one win and anyway it was a ton of fun. If you liked this video and you thought you have learned anything about finishing props then consider subscribing to my channel. Giving the video a thumbs up also helps. Leave your comments below if you don't like anything or you especially like anything. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.